what's your name? Luke Alexander Denman. What is your age? 34. Where do you live? In Austin, Texas. When did you enter the army? In 2006. What has been your tactical training? Uh, I was in the army for five years. I did uh, infantry and AIT um, training. And I also did deep water dive training and uh, aviation training for fixed wing aircraft. Where well, and when did you meet Jordan Woodrow? In Germany in 2009 or 2010. What was the job proposal for Jordan? To meet Venezuelans in Colombia, train them, and come with them to Venezuela to secure Caracas and uh, secure an airport here for follow on. When did Jordan contact you for the job? Jordan contacted me for the job in early December but he didn't give me a lot of details about exactly what it was. When did you fly from U.S. to Colombia? In January, on the 16th. Who accompanied you? Uh, Jordan, Alex, and Aaron. How did you move to Rio uh, We took a car that Alex drove with myself and Aaron. Who accompanied, accompanied you? Uh, it was just uh, Alex, myself, and Aaron in the car to Riohacha. Who received you in Riohacha? Uh, to call. How much will Jordan pay for the job? Um, I expected anywhere from 50 to 100,000. What is the training you teach? Um, planning, mission planning, and tactical work inside buildings. How many times did you visit Colombia? This is the first time. How many times did you visit Venezuela? This is the first time. Where did you stay in Rio Hacha? Uh, there were some, some houses that the, the, the guys were living in that we stayed with them at. How received you in uh, Alta Guajira? Um, there was a, a, man, a man in a wheelchair and uh, a, a group, another, more men with him. Did you know about a document that described the close of the operation? Yes, I saw it uh, about a month, month and a half ago, with uh, Jordan's signature and Juan Pito's signature. How many uh, people come from come from CyberCorp? Three that I'm aware of, including myself. Which kind of profile uh, have the, the, the uh, people who work in CyberCorp? Uh, the only other person that is not Jordan is Aaron, and we both, we both know Aaron, or we both know Jordan from uh, our military experience. And, and which countries the CyberCorp are Operation right now? Right now? Yes, just here. How many irregular groups do you uh, was trained in Rio Acha? There was uh, three small groups. How many men in, in that groups? In in total, it was. 50 to 60, so around 20 people per group. Tell me about the, the instructions that Jordan Udo gave to you and which was the, the, the targets. 
the, the only instructions that I received from Jordan was to ensure that we took uh, control of an airport for safe passage for Maduro and uh, receiving of airplanes. Why the Donald Trump government insists in attack Venezuela if we don't uh, represent a, a tree for your country? I, I don't know. Do you have knowledge about uh, another training camps of uh, private contracts to make in invasions? Uh, in, in Venezuela? No. Why did you train irregular groups as a special force to invade Venezuela? I believe that it was helping their cause. I'm, I'm going to ask you uh, as Venezuelan citizen um, Think in your condition, like an uh, American soldier, what would, would be your reaction if irregular forces entered in, in your country in order to assassinate the president? I wouldn't like it. Right. Um, I, that would probably mean, mean more war. Because if you realize that you were training irregular forces to enter Venezuela, which is a free country, did you continue operating on Venezuelan soil? Because I didn't feel that that was the case. I, I, I was helping Venezuelans take back control of their country. What other tasks involve taking control of the airport? Securing the sector, establishing outer security, communicating with the tower, um, bringing in planes, one of which includes one to put Maduro on and uh, take him back to the United States. Who commands Jordan? President Donald Trump. Who gave you the weapons and the tactical uniforms? Jordan through Silver Corps. What jobs does Cyber Corps? Uh, private security contracting and consulting, known in some places as mercenary work. How many American contractors were in the camp and the operation? Two, including myself. Can you describe Alex and uh, how was your interaction with her? Um, she was late 30s, early 40s, 130, 140 pounds, brown hair, brown eyes, light skin. She spoke Spanish and English, and she drove us from Barranquilla to Rio Hacha. Can you describe the, the man in the wheelchair? He arrived in a, a nice SUV. He had on a nice shirt. He had uh, uh, gold jewelry on, and he appeared to have some influence. Who, who was leading the Venezuelan military deserters? Uh, Captain Cicado. How did you know him? Uh, I met him when we got to Rio Hacha. Can you describe the safe houses where he was staying in Rio Hacha? Uh, there was one that had a, a large brown garage door, uh, a front entrance to the left, a window to the left of that, two large trees in the front, and uh, a balcony on the second floor. And the other one had a, a large gated area out front uh, it was a White House, and it had a, a police station very nearby. 
The first one was on uh, 20, 25th Street, I believe, and the other one was somewhere between 30th and 37th. My responsibilities to Silver Corps are written in a contract, or described in a contract, signed by Jordan Goudreau, Juan Rendon, and Juan Guaido.